daily press conference at 11.30, as Gustav mentioned, has become sort of uh, an appointment viewing for how many Thai people I mean, eager to know what is going on and uh, what the uh, situation is like, especially among media people. I mean, who, are, who, who certainly are very anxious to have the latest on the coronavirus situation. So, uh, Dr. Wisnu, uh, Dr. Dr. Tobi, uh, Tobi Sin, Mr. Yotin has become the most familiar face now. We can refer to him as the face of the public health ministry in communicating both the bad news and good news on encouraging news, or discouraging news to the Thai audiences now. So, uh, his, 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 uh, Dr. Tobi Sin is quite an interesting person. He's a psychiatrist by, by training and by profession. And because of that, maybe he has been able to handle the daily uh, press conference, which of course I mean, carries with it a lot of pressure quite well. Uh, you have to credit him for his calm demeanor in conveying bad news and taking questions from reporters. And uh, he was quite, quite, quite good at uh, putting everything in layman's terms so that uh, people would not get confused by all those medical uh, terms or medical jargons. And so every, every press conference that he gives uh, this day I mean, always end up with uh, something that uh, become clearer and something that uh, the media can certainly go, go back to their offices and can communicate to the, the people at large. Yes, and each day he will begin with the number of new cases of infection and the total number. So it's become the figure that Thai people would like to hear what's the development of coronavirus in Thailand. And today he has something to say regarding COVID-19. And he said COVID-19 doesn't discriminate in regard to age. It's a mistake to think that because you are young and more physically robust, so you are more immune to the virus. That's quite the clear. Warning yeah, from right. Dr. Tobi Sin. This is a point that he has been stressing every day. I mean, he has been firm with his message and also very compelling with his plea for people to really, I mean, practice social distancing and staying home. And he, he always directs his uh, point at young people because he believes that there has been a misconception that young people, I mean, who think they are more physically robust and stronger than, uh, than older people, then they are more immune to the virus. So this is totally a wrong conception. And this is something that he tried to point out every day. And every day in the press briefing, he would single out cases in which young people either get infected or even succumb to the virus. Yes, that's what the message from Dr. Tui Sin is quite clear that he liked to support social distancing at home and he understand the situation and even though among family members we all need to practice social distancing being away from the person next to us at least one meter or two meter also he said if we all cooperate by staying home and practice social distancing there is no need for a 24-hour curfew so that's quite clear from Dr. Tobi Sin today, yes. Kuntep Shai, yes. that if we yes. carry on staying home and practice social distancing, curfew this, won't be extended. Yes. Yes. This statement was in response to questions raised by reporters yesterday when there was rumor that the government was planning to introduce an around the clock curfew, right? So Dr. Tobi Sin said, if things are getting better and if people cooperate by staying more at home and practice social distancing, there would not be any need for the curfew hours to be extended. And uh, so he was very straightforward with his answer. In fact, the question should have been directed to the government, right? <laughs> but, but Dr. Tewisin answered the questions with certainly a lot of authorities and very uh, believable in, in what he said. Yeah. Yes, in the capacity as spokesman of COVID-19 Situation Administration Center, he has a lot of pressure to make it clear and make the point every day in the press conference. And also today, he also mentioned, if you want your normal life back, if you want your freedom to commute and travel back, 
all you need to do is to keep flattening the curve. So that's what we all have to do right now, Kun Teb Chai, flattening right. the curve. That's right. As I said, I mean, he is always firm with his daily message. But from time to time, he manages to inject some sense of humor into the otherwise very serious situation. And he, he takes questions with a, with a smile and then was quite calm in his answering this question. So today, when, of course, he anticipated a lot of questions about when the curfew would be lifted and uh, whether or not uh, the uh, departure lockdown uh, will be gone in, 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 in the short, uh, in the near future. And then say, say, so all you have to do if you really want your, your life back as, as you used to have, then your, your job is to, to cooperate in, help, in helping to keep the, the, the curve flattened. Yes, that's quite clear. I think we all would like to get our life back and we cannot do this all alone because we are in this together and the only way out is to stay home, social distancing and try to comply with the order of state of emergency and especially the curfew which has been in place for four days already.